Three astronauts lifted off to China's nearly completed space station on November 29, marking the beginning of the country's long-term presence in space. Tiangong, which means heavenly palace. It's a major achievement for China's ambitious space program, which has explored the far side of the moon and Mars. The milestone also means the Aging International Space Station's role as the sole venue for continuous human occupancy in Earth's orbit is coming to an end. Once construction is completed, the space station is expected to last for 15 years. However, Russia has threatened to quit the ISS starting in 2024, which would make operating the ISS difficult, said Dr. Stefania Paladini, a reader in economics and global security at Birmingham City University in the United Kingdom. The Chinese space station may end up remaining the only human presence in Earth's orbit for a while. Therefore, many countries have expressed their desire to cooperate with China. So, which country's astronauts will join this space station that shocked the world? What is the current construction progress of this space station? As a space enthusiast, I have recently checked a lot of relevant information. This video mainly focuses on the general situation of the construction of China's space station. Okay, let's get started. First, which country's astronauts will join this space station that shocked the world? The new space station is expected to host around 1,000 scientific experiments during its lifespan. Most of the experiments taking place on board the Tiangong will involve research originating from China, but the country has invited experiments from international researchers, including how cancer tumors react to zero gravity. China's astronauts have long been excluded from the ISS due to U.S. political objections and legislative restrictions. However, CMSA astronauts have trained with their counterparts at the European Space Agency. It's not clear whether China would welcome astronauts from other countries to its space station, but Molly Silk, a doctoral researcher at the University of Manchester in the UK focused on China's space program, said she thought it very likely that international astronauts would visit in the coming years. Several European astronauts have been learning Chinese in order to better cooperate with their Chinese counterparts, which suggests that a visit to the CSS could be on the cards. Pakistan has also been trying to coordinate with China to send their first astronaut to space, she said. This project demonstrates to the world that China has both the vision and capabilities to pull off such an immensely challenging feat the CSS will not only allow for China and other nations to conduct experiments in space, but acts as an important checkpoint for China's planned international research base on the moon. She said. Now, let's talk about those issues you may be concerned about about the Chinese space station. 1. A biological laboratory in space. The Wendian experimental cabin is composed of three cabins, a working cabin, an airlock cabin and a resource cabin. It is the single man spacecraft with the longest length and largest diameter in the world today. The overall axial length is 17.9 meters and the maximum diameter is 4.2 meters. Like the Tianhe core cabin, the Wentian experimental cabin is also equipped with three sleeping areas, one sanitary area, kitchen, and other facilities. The expanded space station can support six astronauts working and living in orbit at the same time. Of course, as an experimental cabin, the Wentian experimental cabin is mainly used as a space laboratory, mainly for space life science research. Equipped with experimental cabinets such as life ecology, biotechnology and variable gravity science, it can support the research on the growth, development, inheritance, aging and other response mechanisms of various types of plants, animals, microorganisms, etc. under space conditions. It can also provide a variable gravity simulation of 0.01 G2G, which supports the comparative study of the growth mechanism of organisms under different gravity conditions. 2. What is the difference between the Wentian experimental cabin and the Mengtian experimental cabin? We know that with the construction of the China Space Station, the Mengtian experimental module will be launched in the future. Wentian and Mengtian are both experimental cabins. What is the difference in the division of labor between the two? According to our introduction to the Wentian experimental cabin, the Wendian experimental cabin can be regarded as a biological laboratory to perform life science experiments. 
The Mengtian experimental cabin is mainly used for physics and material science experiments. It can be regarded as a physics laboratory, which supports the research on the laws of matter under the cover of gravity and cutting edge experimental research such as ultra cold atomic physics. At the same time, the world's first set of space cold atomic clocks, composed of hydrogen masers, rubidium clocks, and optical clocks, will be established to form a time frequency system with the highest frequency stability and accuracy in space, and to carry out gravitational redshift and fine structure constant measurements. Cutting edge scientific research. 3. What is the difference between Wentian and Tianwen? Friends who care about space know that China launched the Tianwen 1 Mars probe on July 23, 2020. The Tianwen 1 probe consists of an orbiter and a Mars rover. It is currently in good working condition, and it also sends back major discoveries about Mars from time to time. On July 23, the Tianwen 1 orbiter also sent back high definition photos of the Martian satellite. Tianwen is the general term for a series of space projects in China. In addition to Tianwen 1, there will be Tianwen 2, Tianwen 3, and Tianwen 4. Therefore, we must remember that Wendian is the name of the experimental module of the China Space Station, and Tianwen is the general name of China's deep space exploration project. For two brothers of the Long March 5th rocket, Long 5 and Long 5B. The Long March 5B, like the Long March 5, uses non-toxic and non-polluting liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen and kerosene as propellants. Specifically, the core stage uses liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen as propellants, and the four boosters all use liquid oxygen and kerosene as propellants. We know that the boiling point of liquid oxygen is minus 183 degrees Celsius, and the boiling point of liquid hydrogen is an astonishing minus 253 degrees Celsius, only 20 degrees above absolute zero, absolute temperature is minus 273 degrees Celsius, which is a veritable ice arrow. Liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen in a low temperature state are like monsters that are difficult to tame, and the development of large scale low temperature rockets is very difficult. Of course, the advantages of hydrogen oxygen rockets are also very obvious, that is, the specific impulse is very high, and it can send more loads into space with less rocket fuel. Both the fuel itself and the water vapor generated by combustion are completely green and pollution-free. On July 23, the rocket launch site had already filled the Long March 5B with kerosene. This is because kerosene is a normal temperature fuel and can be filled in advance. Given the low temperature properties of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. 5. Long March 5 and Long March 5B perform their respective duties. The Long March 5th is mainly used to launch massive deep space probes, capable of delivering a 14-ton payload to a geosynchronous transfer orbit. Previously, China's Chang'e 5 lunar probe and Tianwen 1 Mars probe were launched. The Long March 5B is to transport large mass spacecraft to the Earth's low Earth orbit, with a carrying capacity of 25 tons in low Earth orbit. 6. There are still three major launches in the construction of China's space station. After the launch of Wendian, the construction of China's space station has carried out eight major launches. At the end of this year, the China space station is basically completed and there are still three launches. They are, the launch of the Mengtian experimental module, the launch of Tianzhou 5 and the launch of Shenzhou 15. Well, thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.